On behalf of the National Bank of Hungary, may I just warmly welcome you again at the second Lam Falusi Lectures Conference. And also on behalf of the whole audience, may I just congratulate to Benoit for the Lam Falusi Award. And also, uh, I would like to uh, congratulate Palutai Daniel for the new Popovic uh, Award. Yeah. Um, also, thank you, uh, Benoit, for the title of the conference. Yes, we badly need a new narrative for Europe. Um, just for a very quick recap, uh, why don't we take the Hungarian story? Um, just to confirm the, our title and just to encourage us to open up a new chapter when it comes to a new narrative for Europe. Um, in 2010, the new Hungarian government had to face uh, a dilemma, how to manage the crisis. Um, there were, of course, traditional and unconventional, orthodox and unorthodox uh, choices. It was clear cut just at the beginning that uh, using only orthodox and conventional measures might result in a failure due to the fact that um, a successful crisis management um, badly needs at least three intertwined elements. Firstly, structural reforms. In the lack of structural reforms, we can get nowhere. Secondly, we badly need, at that time, uh, that was uh, again clear-cut, and it is clear-cut at present in the European Union as well, uh, secondly, we badly need new jobs. In the lack of new jobs, in the lack of creating new jobs, and in the lack of uh, uh, saving present jobs, we can get nowhere because we need the third element, political stability. Without political stability, we can't complete structural reforms. Without structural reforms, <laughs> we can't uh, manage the crisis successfully. So all the three intertwined elements uh, should be in a new brew, in a new basket, in a new program. And um, by now, the, um, the economic and financial situation of the Hungarian um, um, uh, story is clear cut. It's promising. All the macroeconomic figures are promising and encouraging due to the fact that we were forced to find our new narrative even in 2010. Dear friends, dear fellow governors, um, dear colleagues, this is the right time due to the fact that um, the European Central Bank launched uh, uh, the new uh, monetary uh, uh, policy programs. This is the right time to ponder, to consider uh, a new narrative for Europe. This is the reason why I welcome you, all the uh, members of the audience, and all uh, my great friends, the governors uh, of central banks uh, uh, in Europe, just to get together and contribute to a new narrative for Europe. Thank you.